Kerbal Space Administration launches a new space race. After the achievement of the Krushan Stayputnik probe, the Kerbal Space Administration has responded with its own Kerbal-made satellite. The grand implications of this new orbiting probe has the entire world in awe. With the first mission a success, the KSA is receiving funding to continue its space program. What is to become of Kerbin as we marshal in this new age of space exploration? Hello everyone, this is Shimmy, and once again I am playing some more Kerbal Space Program. This is episode 2 of the Sandbox Space Campaign. Hopefully I'm going to get that name right every single time. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do another mission here. Uh, I forgot to mention on the previous episode what my current budget is at. I started at 50000 That's just built into the mod. And with the uh, with with one I received from the uh, previous mission, I now have 72,000 crones. So uh, I'm not going to do anything really expensive here at the beginning because I know that my margins are really low. But let's go ahead and uh, get started. So I think what I'm going to do now, just to stay uh, simple here, I'm going to pretty much do the exact same thing, except I'm going to try and get the... Uh, the probe into a polar orbit. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about that. Let's go ahead and select our mission package. As you can see here, a little icon here shows that we've completed that. And we're going to go ahead and show, we're going to go ahead and click on this one. Kerbin 02 Polar Probe Orbit. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And we'll go ahead and get started. Alrighty. So, since it's going to be a very similar mission profile, just in a different direction, I'm just going to load the previous probe here. Wherever it is. There it is. Probe Alpha. Alrighty. Instead of Alpha, though, I mean it Beta. Since it's the second one. Uh, total delta V. There is a little bit more delta V required to get into a polar orbit, but I'm still well within the margins of, of what I have here. Now I only got to decide if I need to add anything else to it. Which I was thinking, you know what, maybe, maybe I should uh, start including some other things here. Well, just in case I need it later, I'm going to increase the number of antennae, antennae, to four. So I have the ability to relay more signals. But now, as you can see, that the delta V of the entire vessel is only 44, and that's not gonna do. I need, I need at least 46, no, 47 to be comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and slightly edit this, uh, this vessel. So what I'm probably going to do here is just increase the size of the lifter stage. And that gives us back to 49. Yep, so that's really all I want to do. Oh, don't need all those. Don't need all the extras. I really can't afford that. Our total cost of the vessel is now 12,527 crones, which is, which is alright. I should be getting... Uh, more, more, you know, oh, um, more than that back, so that's that's good, good payout. And I'll go ahead and launch this. So, each uh, each mission that I'm doing here, um, there's going to be a lot of repeats, at least for each each planet. So I'm, what I've how I've designed this is each celestial body in the uh, Kerbin system is going to have uh, multiple missions, but they're all going to be uh, kind of a, a cookie cutter sort of thing, but they all have different payouts. So what, I, what that gives me the option to do is, is to pick and choose exactly what I want to do. So for example, each celestial body has a get into orbit, 
and each one has a get to polar orbit. So, uh, and the nice thing about that is that I can actually do more than one mission with the same vehicle. So that's going to, uh, if if I if I pilot the vessel well enough, I might be able to make a lot of money. So I just need to keep that in, in mind. And I'm not going to be launching any manned missions until I feel that I have enough budget to uh, pay for that, just in case I fail. So here we go. Three, two, one, SAS on, zero, liftoff. And what I'll do here is I'll just go ahead and uh, keep going up. I'm going to probably just go ahead and fast forward until I get to my gravity turn, and I'll see you then. Alrighty, here I am. I'm going to go ahead and start my gravity turn. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn north here. And we're going to be able to take a look at the inclination. Now, the mission requires that I have an inclination of around 90 degrees. It's like 87 to 93 degrees, so I just need to keep that in mind. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep pitching over here again. Just about out of fuel out of this stage. Staging. Activate second stage. Keep going. Alrighty. Keep pitching over. I need to keep paying attention to my inclination. I need to go ahead and maybe go a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more west because when you go into a polar, polar orbit you not only need to go north you also need to prevent your motion east so alrighty let's see here and back down inclination 89 degrees okay just go ahead and set this due north Activate my panels here. Everything seems okay. Apoapsis in a minute and 20 seconds. Alrighty. Go ahead and s plan my maneuver here. Usually, I don't use follow these maneuvers by heart, but I use them as a good guideline to tell me when I should start burning. 83 by 86. Yeah, that's uh, good enough to tell me where I probably want to be. Yes, I mean to burn up 34 seconds. Wow, that's a lot longer than last time. And more of an up trajectory than a to the side. I can see the space center perfectly fine from here though. So I'm gonna go ahead and start burning again. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough delta V. Oh, this is interesting. Oh. Huh. here I need okay no I'm not I'm not gonna have enough I'm 15 I'm about a 15 meters a second short I don't know if that's gonna be enough for me to get into reasonable orbit we'll see here Oh, no, no, mission failure, and our periapsis is 85, or our orbit is currently 85 by 65, 
That surely wasn't enough. And that is why we don't want to fail here. Because we just had to eat 12,000 crones, didn't we? Alrighty. Well, yeah, because it it's, needs to be at least uh, 70. There's really no way I can uh, get this going any better without um without more fuel so I guess we gotta scrap that and it's out of contact so mission failure that is too bad well I guess I'm gonna have to try this in, uh, in another episode well I'm sorry for that failure but uh thanks for watching and I will see you on the next episode.